What's up guys, it's Sean Q back again with another video for you. Now, I just want to show you something that is a hot item. I'm talking about a marriage between the Japanese culture and Star Wars. And together, Bandai have mashed it up and come up with a completely one-of-a-kind, insanely designed, beautiful action figure. This is the Samurai Taisho Darth Vader Death Star Armor action figure by Bandai. Just take a minute and sink it in. Now this figure has been designed by one of the highly acclaimed Japanese artists Takayuki Takeya from Japan. And if you have a look at it, you can pretty much see the amount of detail that he put into this action figure. I'll put a link below so you can see uh, his works. Now the box is um, all dressed up in black. It's a very nice uh, classy looking box. You've got uh, General Darth Vader in the front with his two swords, one katana and the other one is a um, lightsaber samurai sword, which I think is quite cool that they sort of incorporated the samurai and the lightsaber um, weapon into one. Um, it being the Death Star armor variant, uh, he comes with this uh, funny looking, well, Death Star, uh, sort of like a moon shaped uh, piece on top of his helmet. Um, but yeah, that's the front of the box. Now onto the side, uh, it's just some nice print there. Uh, just uh, says the um, Samurai Taisho Darth Vader Death Star armor. And on this side here, we just have a look at the menacing Darth Vader mask. At the back, you've got a few um, pictures of the action figure in different poses. Um, so this is uh, an action figure that has uh, quite, um, it's got some quite good articulation. Uh, it's got um, a few other accessories and parts um, that I'll show you um, once we unbox this. Ooh, let's see what's inside this thing now, shall we? So this box is very collector friendly. Uh, I think as of late, uh, toy companies have been making boxes that, you know, as I said, are collector friendly. Um, so that you can pretty much take it out of the box if you want, put it back in. Uh, and this, this particular piece has just that. It's a good design box, uh, easy to come out and easy to put back in. Um, if you have a look at the back of the box, uh, you can see that uh, it's got the classic Star Wars line. Um, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, which is pretty much uh, in every opening credits of uh, any Star Wars movie. So that's actually quite good when you open up the box. Now here's a look at the instructions that the um, figure comes with. Uh, it's all in, I don't know, maybe Japanese or Chinese, I can't read it. Um, but it's pretty, pretty easy to follow through. Uh, that's basically it. All right, so this is what the uh, contents of the box looks like once you've removed the uh, front part. Um, you've got the action figure sitting nicely in the middle, um, followed by all of the um, accessories that he comes with. Um, he's got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different hands that you can sort of um, interchange depending on how you want to pose the figure. Um, he's, he comes with uh, two swords. One is the uh, lightsaber samurai sword, the other one is a katana. And he's got a sword, um, sort of like the, just, just the edge of the sword, sorry, the, uh, the handle of the sword. Um, so if you want to just basically put it on the side to pose it, so though it's not drawn out. Um, and he's got a, what is this, a sheath. Um, so let's get this open um, and give you a closer, close up look of the uh, figure. So here's a look at the action figure. Um, man, this is really well designed. Um, the detail in the figure, which I'll show you later on, um, is really good for an action figure. It's not flimsy at all, it's um, it's pretty solid. There's a lot of um, articulation points here, so you can rotate his um, arm around, he's got an elbow, the wrist goes around as well, the head moves from side to side, um, you've got some movement um, in your hips, uh, your legs, even your uh, foot. So quite a lot of poses that you can put um, Darth Vader in, um, depending on how you want to um, pose the guy. So here's a look at his two swords. He's got one samurai sword and one katana. Um, both are made out of plastic. Um, these are really cool uh, designs. I mean, I like the fact that they've actually made a samurai sword into a lightsaber. Or sorry, a lightsaber into a samurai sword. Um, that is really, really cool. So he's got two weapons. He's even got a um, the hilt 
of the sword, I think that I think that's what you call it, um, without the blade. So you can pretty much pose it, um, holding it, and sort of like drawn out from the side, um, as if he was going to pull it out. All right, so let's take a closer look at the action figure. I'll give you some poses, some angles, so you can have a better look um, at the different um, features of this thing, uh, and you can see how well designed and how beautiful this uh, action figure is. I mean, it's not just just any type of action figure. This is a well-designed art piece uh, designed by Bandai. So let's have a look at that now. All right, so that was a look at the Star Wars Samurai Taisho Darth Vader Death Star Armor by Bandai. I hope you Star Wars fans enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see more of these things, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button to show your support. And again, thanks for watching, guys.